Hi guys, Larissa with Because is here. Today I will show you how to giant knit using giant wooden knitting needles. I will use this 40 millimeters in diameter uh, circular needles and merino wool yarn in mint color. It's uh, laying here ready to be knitted. So let's get started. So let's get started. So the rule number one, as I mentioned in my previous videos, to unwind the whole amount of wool you need. It should be laying here in the pile and you need to have an easy access to it, like you see here on my uh, table. And uh, we will take uh, giant wooden needles, 40 millimeters uh, in diameter, and we will be making a blanket 30 by 40. In order to know how many stitches you will need, you will need to divide 30 by 2.5. 30 divided by 2.5 will be 12, so that's how many stitches we will need. How we will start? The, probably the most uh, difficult is uh, starting or casting on. So uh, we will need 12 stitches. How we will know how much yarn we will need to start. I'm usually doing it like that. I'm measuring it. This is one stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have here uh, a tail and a working yarn. So now what we are doing the tail goes on the right, the working yarn is on the left. You put it on your left palm between these fingers. So this is the tail, this is working yarn. And then you make a loop around your uh, big finger, like that. So let's do it again. This is working yarn, this is uh, end, laying between these two fingers and hold it and then make a loop so now we are ready to cast on i'm usually doing it with one needle because it's uh, pretty thick so what we're doing we are going inside this little loop on your big finger and then we are going to grab this yarn and pull it through. So this is your first stitch. Let's do it again. Because a lot of people find it pretty difficult. And you might have a different way of casting on. I think there are a couple ways of doing it. This is the way I am doing it. So one more time, working uh, yarn and end. Uh, Put it between fingers, make a loop, that's how it will look. This is end, this is working yarn. Go inside this little loop and then grab it and pull it through. This is your first stitch and try to make it loose, like that. Now, in order to make the second one, what you're doing, you're going with your two fingers inside between these uh, two pieces of yarn, like that. And turn it like that. So one more time, between these two, with your two fingers, and then turn it like that. And then going inside, grab your yarn, pull it through. Going in between, turn, Go underneath, grab the other yarn, and pull it through. Make it as loose as possible. This is the main thing to do when you're giant knitting with merino wool. This way you will not be pulling it well when you're knitting. So again, between these two, your two fingers, turn, and go underneath, grab another yarn, and pull it through. And this way we will need to make 12 stitches. So here we have 12 stitches 
And remember, the wider or bigger you want your blanket to be, the looser your stitches should be. So here you can see that I try to make them as loose as possible. So now what we will do, we will turn our knitting and we'll start knitting. So you can see already that this is our first row and this is uh, the side with pearl. So the pattern that I will show you is the simplest one, one row knit, one row purl. So what I will do, I will start purling on this row. And for me it's easier to do with circular needles than with straight, but it all depends on you how you like to do it. So, the working yarn on the top, then we're going down, uh, we're going underneath, grabbing yarn and pull it through. Make it as loose as possible. Let's do it again. When you're purling, the working yarn goes on the top in front of the stitch. This needle goes underneath both of them. Getting out, grabbing the working yarn and pull it through. Again, the yarn goes on the top. This is the stitch, this is the yarn going underneath. Grabbing the yarn, pulling it through. So this is our uh, knitting with a pearl row ready and now uh, the row will be just knitting and I will show you how to do it. So knitting row. Remember the stitches need to be as loose as possible. That will make you a big and fluffy blanket and the size will be bigger than if you uh, knit Tight. And if you need tight, the blanket will definitely be smaller too. So the first one, you can either take it off or you can knit it. And I'm actually always just slip off the first stitch. This way you will have a beautiful chain on the side. So here's how uh, you will be knitting. I'm usually going inside like that not like that it's easier i think so you go inside the stitch grab working yarn and pull it through take it off from the needle again you're going inside grab working yarn pull it through take it off Go inside, work in, pull it through. So we have uh, the next row ready. This one just a uh, uh, simple knitting. And uh, now keep alternated rows. Uh, one row knit, one row purl. And I will be doing it and then show you how to uh, finish the knitting or cast off. So here we are. Uh, we have our beautiful blanket is ready and it's 30 by 40 and if I didn't mention it you need three pounds to make a blanket 30 by 40 now this is our last roll and I will show you how to cast off so what we're doing we're just taking two stitches going on inside two stitches and then grabbing working yarn and pulling it through and instead of two stitches we have one you're placing this one stitch back on the working needle and doing it again we're going inside two stitches grabbing working yarn 
pull it through one left place it back and this way we keep doing until all stitches will be gone and we will have this beautiful chain here the finishing chain and in order to know how when to start casting I usually suggest to leave about 1.5 2 yards of yarn left and then you know that it's time to start casting off let's look one more time two stitches going inside grabbing working yarn pull it through then place the stitch back two together So here we have only two stitches left and I will show you what to do with those. So we're taking two last stitches and pulling through into one. Just one left. Now we can take off our needles. We're cutting here. That's what we have. Now just insert this end inside the last stitch and pull don't pull too hard i know that merino wool doesn't like to be pulled and this is how it's done our blanket is done and how, now we just need to hide this little tail what i'm doing i'm usually going on the back and hide it between stitches This way you will not see it when you use it. So our beautiful blanket 30 by 40 is done. As I mentioned, you will need three pounds of merino wool to make it. And you can buy it in our uh, store because of that net. If you have any questions how to giant knit, how much yarn you need, or any questions about giant knitting, feel free to contact me by email at info because of that net. Stay warm and be cozy.